Uh, and and but France, hasn't, nothing's changed there, hasn't it? Always been no. the after the football season's finished. Well, yeah, it yeah. was different last. Was it last year? We was it the it end of the er, season? It was earlier, wasn't it? I've lost track. Um, but it's it's almost like we had it, but we had magic when it was in almost in September, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was was that the year after COVID, or and we've had magic to start the season as well. Mm. Of course, in Wales, first week, Jordan Tansey. Yeah, that's Kevin's a record. Thirty-seven penalties, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Castleford Wakefield game you, you won't remember half. that one. Yeah, oh dear. they probably gave more penalties than points yeah but nobody remembers any other game no. other than the very last yeah. one and the, how it ended is that, have you read the book yeah is, it, is that, is that mentioned is that yeah. mentioned that, oh, good because that's what people want to, people want to know so you, you do it on so. purpose yes no I'm the line for people that, like that game was it, what people forget about that game was how good the game was Oh, well, no, it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was a cracking game. Yeah. And unfortunately, it was overshadowed by what happened at the end. Yes. Um, no, it might be Gareth Ellis that mentions it. <laughs> in a book that he's got coming out. I'll be at the Magic Weekend. Good. Yeah. Um, part, of the, part of the Rugby League Cares programme for retired players, which includes match officials. Excellent. Um, they have um, an event on at Magic Weekend for retired players to come together and um, and socialise really and thank them for their involvement in the sport um, and for them to sort of network with each other a little bit around their experiences of retirement from the game and, and what they're doing post retirement uh, the Rugby League Cares programme is really good for retired players and as I said they, they've included match officials in as part of that programme so um, yeah Excellent. they're doing some really good work there so good. I shall be there on the Saturday it's not a bad thing, it's just I've, I've been to another one. <laughs> I don't really want to go to another one. I did bump into a fan once at Magic, oh, um, oh, who, when I was on my way back to the car park, started un, unzipping his coat, and I thought, oh no, what's coming here? <laughs> and as he unzipped his coat, he had a picture of my face on this, t- this T-shirt, and it said, help stamp out child abuse. Oh. <laughs> Incredible. There you go. And no wonder you're going back. On that bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> 